In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Good evening. So we gather, um, we hear about the shoot that will, will, will uh, come forth or the bud that will, will blossom. So we look for the great things of God in our life as we enter into the season of Advent. We have prepared for these sacred mysteries by calling to mind our sin. We ask God for forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you came to call sinners. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you healed the sick. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Look with favor, Lord God, on our petitions, and in, in our trials, grant us your compassionate help that consoled by the presence of your Son, whose coming we now await, we may be tainted no longer by the corruption of former ways. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. On that day, a shoot shall sprout from the stump of Jesse, and from his roots a bud shall blossom. The spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, a spirit of wisdom and of understanding, a spirit of counsel and of strength, a spirit of knowledge and of fear of the Lord and his de delight shall be the fear of the Lord. Not by appearance shall he judge, nor by hearsay shall he decide. But he shall judge the poor with justice and decide aright for the lands afflicted. He shall strike the ruthless with the rod of his mouth, and with the breath of his lips he shall slay the wicked. Justice shall be the band around his waist, and faithfulness a belt upon his hips. Then the wolf shall be a guest of the lamb, and the leopard shall lie down with the kid. The calf and the young lion shall browse together with a little child to guide them. The cow and the bear shall be neighbors, together their young shall rest. The lion shall eat hay like the ox. The baby shall play by the cobra's den. And the child lay his hand on the otter's lair. There shall be no harm or ruin on all my holy mountain. For the earth shall be filled with knowledge of the Lord as water covers the sea. On that day, the root of Jesse set up as a signal for the nations, the Gentiles shall seek out, for his dwelling shall be glorious. The word of the Lord. <clears throat> Responsorial Psalm, justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. O God, with your judgment endow the king, and with your judge justice the king's son. He shall govern your people with justice and your afflicted ones with judgment. Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. Justice shall flower in his days and profound peace till the moon be no more. May he rule from sea to sea and from the river to the ends of the earth. Justice shall flourish in his time, fullness of peace forever. He shall rescue the poor when he cries out and the afflicted when he has no one to help him. He shall have pity 
for the lowly and the poor, the lives of the poor he shall save. <clears throat> In his time, peace forever. May his name be blessed forever, as long as the Son, his name, shall remain. In him shall all the tribes of the earth be blessed. All the nations shall proclaim his happiness. Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Behold, our Lord shall come with power. He will enlighten the eyes of his servants. Hallelujah. 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 The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus rejoiced in the Holy Spirit and said, I give you praise, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to the childlike. Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows the Son, no, no one knows who the Son is except the Father and who the Father is except the Son, and, to, and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal him. Turning to the disciples in private, he said, Blessed are the eyes that see what you see, for I say to you, many prophets and kings desired to see what you see, but did not see it, and to hear what you hear, but did not hear it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The first reading today from the prophet Isaiah is one of my favorite Advent readings, that it presents um, just marvelous images, you know, about um, a, 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 a bud, a, a tiny thing that certainly in this time of year we know here where it's um, cold and maybe a little snow and you know pretty barren and and and, uh, and empty and cold and, and and just not very nice but yet we know that seeds and things in the ground give give a, a few months and with some warmth and light and heat will all of a sudden spring up again will sprout up and and and, and so that's just that image um, that, that I get in this reading from Isaiah about that great potential or that great gift and blessing that is offered to us through faith in God. You know, that, that, that uh, uh, just, just the ways that that faith can, can um, have a profound impact in, in our lives, like those shoots and, and, and buds um, growing and, and, and bursting forth. You know, and, and the other thing that strikes me as the reading goes on, you know, speaking about the different animals, you know, so, so again, it speaks about how different things are through the eyes of faith or, or because of faith. I, I mean, when we look at the world around us, these pairs or examples that it, that it um, expresses just don't happen. You know, a wolf and a lamb don't live together. A lion and, and a kid, a cobra, you know, no kid would, you know, young child would, would ever, ever go close, we would hope, to a, a snake. You know, especially, you know, so, so there are type of things that just don't happen in the world of nature, in the world around us. But yet, um, that speaks about how so very different things are through the eyes of faith and, and, and through God. So as we are just at the beginning of Advent, you know, this invites us, I think, to consider um, 
the, the profound impact that, that our faith in God has in, in our lives. Doesn't make everything perfect. Doesn't make everything in the world work, work out the way, way, way we would want it to. Doesn't mean that we should go and look out and see if we can go find a bear or a lion, you know, to go up close to. Um, but but, 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 but it, it clearly, the, the, the gift of that faith uh, can have a profound impact in how we look at everything in the world around us. I mean, even, you know, think about this whole season of, De- of December. You know, is it more than just Christmas carols and decorations and shopping? You know, hopefully it is a whole lot more than that. You know, that, that, that uh, through faith that we realize that it's a time to try to find some quiet time of prayer and meditation and, 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 and openness to that budding or bursting forth of God's grace and, and life within us. So, um, and, and likewise in, in the gospel, you know, just in those simple words, Jesus speaks about being um, childlike, having kind of that innocence or that, 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 that openness to the ways that God is revealed, wants to be revealed to us. And then, um, and, and that last line in, 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 in that gospel struck me about how, where, where he says that many prophets and kings desired to see what you see, but did not see it. You know, so as we think about, gee, we have, that, you know, here we are, that we, 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 we know the scriptures, we know the stories of this time of year, we know God's grace, we have the gift of the sacrament. There's so many things that just speak to us that are such a, a privilege and an honor that we can very easily take for granted or overlook and not realize really how profound it is. So may um, these days of Advent, especially at the beginning, may, may we um, be attentive. Maybe there's something that God wants to bud and sprout and, and grow within us during these days of Advent. Maybe, um, maybe we're called at times to, you know, find, uh, to maybe there's certain people or ways that we can be that source of inspiration and hope to others and, and, and encouraging and helping other people to come to understand like a child a little bit the, the influence of faith. So may um, these days be a time for us to be filled with great hopefulness and, and eagerness to encounter the Lord and to experience his great blessings. Gracious and mighty God, we gather in your presence, grateful for these days of Advent, in which we look look forward to your coming into our lives um, that we celebrate at Christmas and at the end of time. We, uh, with faith, turn to you as we offer our needs and our prayers. So we pray for the church during this time of Advent. Might it be a time for all to be able to um, put aside some of the distractions and be more open to the inspiration of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who lead our church, for our Pope, for our bishops, priests, deacons, and religious. May um, God grant them wisdom and insight and, uh, and, and, and a desire for holiness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our world. We pray that all people will be open to the wisdom of God and seek the transforming power of God's grace and love in in, in their lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who who, who suffer from from, uh, depression or or, uh, difficult burdens these times, maybe because of the darkness and cold or uh, other trials or challenges. Might they find rays of of light and, and sources of hope We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray in thanksgiving for the gift of our faith, for the ways that God um, daily inspires us to uh, embrace all the goodness of God and 
and, and be filled with hope in, in his name. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for children and families, for their safety and protection, for um, their care and love for one another. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who have lost their faith or those uh, who do not believe in God. Might, uh, might these, these um, days of preparation for Christmas somehow touch their hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are sick, especially those suffering from the coronavirus or other serious diseases. We pray for doctors and nurses and family members who care for them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we remember the living and deceased members of the Paul and Dolores Cape family. May all who have died be, be um, assured of, of that hope of of experiencing eternal joy with God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pause to remember your own prayers. For these, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty and gracious God, we give thanks that you are ever near to us and that you continually fill us with, with your grace. We ask that you hear our prayers and answer them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, with our humble prayers and offerings, and since we have no merits to plead our cause, come, we pray, to our rescue, with the protection of your mercy, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh and so, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago 
and open for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we join in the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Sana in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Sana in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Daniel, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with Saint Michael, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Replenished by the food of spiritual nourishment, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that through our partaking in this mystery, you may teach us to judge wisely the things of earth and hold firm to the things of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.